Very Dark Man has revealed in a video that Tonto DK is the owner of Gist Lover, the Instagram blog that has been tagged as terrorist group by the Nigerian police for its notorious way of revealing people's secrets. Very Dark Man made this revelation after his encounter with Tonto DK at the police station in Lagos. This started when Tonto DK arrested Very Dark Man for abusing her on Instagram during the time they exchanged words over the course of Mobad's death. The petition, which was signed by Tonto DK, Iabojo, and Sam Clef, stated that Very Dark Man threatened to kill one of them with courtists and falsely accused them of stealing public fund and defamation of character. At the police station, Very Dark Man was handed the petition and videos of him saying all those things were played for him to defend himself. While defending himself, Tonto DK and Iabojo entered the office. Immediately, Tonto DK sat beside him, but he refused while saying that Tonto DK could be using Juju to make him write something that would implicate him. So the police officers asked Tonto DK to sit somewhere else. After they all tabled their cases, the police said it was not a serious matter and that it was something they could settle amicably. Immediately, Tonto DK snapped very dark man pictures even after the police made it known to them that everyone should never take pictures or record videos. The police immediately cautioned her about the picture, but she replied that she had deleted the pictures. Meanwhile, she sent it to someone, which Very Dark Man noticed and threatened to destroy her reputation if she posted the pictures on the internet. Since the case didn't yield any meaningful result, Tonto Dika and Eriabojo angrily left the police station. When they got outside the police station, according to Very Dark Man, she scheduled a post on her Gist Lover account and posted the pictures. He maintained that Tonto DK is Gist Lover because Gist Lover was the first person to post the pictures online before others followed suit. And I can prove more go court anywhere, anytime. Tonto DK is Gist Lover. She has been the one posting different celebrities' news and everything. With my full chest, I'm saying it today. Gist Lover, where you be, I said it with my full chest. Now you can post me for this lover. The reason he was convinced that Tonto DK is this lover is because of the caption this lover wrote when posting his pictures, where the blog referred to Tonto DK's lawyer as this lover's lawyer. It says 2024 Hoto, my lawyer gets level past this lawyer. My lord, that means the lawyer there that she brought to the police station, she has already compared it to my lawyer. For her to say, for Gist Lover to say, my lawyer, and Gist Lover was not there, and Tonto DK was the one there, who owns Gist Lover, my lord? Because they are comparing lawyer, and she said, my lawyer. So I believe they mistakenly shot themselves on the foot. Tonto DK claimed to be a king, and the name of Gist Lover is Oba. Oba in English is a king. Herself, Iyabojo and Sam Claire, they used the same caption, and look at the dates. That's how you know that I know what I am doing. I saved it since then. It is obvious that these people were in a group, they were giving themselves instructions. He also stated that the Yoruba they write in Gist Lover's post is a disguise, stating that Tonto DK does not work alone. She has Yoruba employees, but she's the owner of Gist Lover. Amidst these allegations, Tonto DK has not made any statement, and this is making people to believe she is truly Gist Lover. Do you think Tonto DK is the owner of Gist Lover? Drop your opinion in the comment section. Meanwhile, the Nigerian police have arrested and paraded three men who are suspected to be linked to the operation of Gist Lover. The arrest was made after six months of surveillance of their social media activities. So what's your link with Gist Lover? It's just normal link. Normal link? What, how, do you, how do you describe anything normal? Normal link? How do you describe normal link? Just we chat on Instagram. You chat? We just... What do you do for him online? Hmm? You do nothing for him. Okay. Like um, the, what I have here, uh, Debu Kola, uh, Mobadis Lover. You create, in fact, in fact, the, the, the system gave us that you created 80% of the Gist Lover pages. Gist Lover. You see, you see, it is not, we are, we are talking of science here. And we have our system, this is a national cyber crime center, not a divisional headquarters that arrested you, not an area command office that arrested you. So this is what they do and this is what they have been trained for. 
So they know we have what we have. What we have here is we have, we have created over eighty percent of the Gislava pages, thereby lending the digital footprint for the perpetration of affirmation care, particularly in the case at, at hand. We are not even talking of other cases. I know Nigerians will come up with other cases. We have more than 100 petitions against this cyber, uh, this cyber block alone. I know Nigerians have been coming up. The center has been receiving more complaints, even against those that we have here. We just decided to, to make this one known to Nigerians that against the, the general, the erroneous perception that this cyber is just an individual, it's a syndicate, and you know what they do, uh, and you know what they stand for. No matter offense or any illegal acts you have committed, you can only run. You cannot hide. Every offense committed leaves a trace in scientific investigation. Uh, that is Omar Bajis Lover. That is your nickname. For, for, for even to have such a nickname, it goes a long way. We are just showing this for Nigerians to know that we just didn't base, we didn't base our investigation on just mere speculations or just following you online. In scientific, I will have a credible uh, evidence to prosecute you. So when you get to court, you are liberty to raise the matter, raise any objection. You are liberty to get your lawyers and come for your defense. It's a crime in Nigeria to do cyber stalking. Then they go back. The uh, Isaac. Isaac's case is the same case, uh, and there's no ignorance in law. Uh, he creates fake pages to imitate this lover to cut crews and get money too. So whatever it is, uh, it's still the same uh, family. You can't spell she without he. You can't spell woman without man. All of them are connected and they work together. So he's been enjoying the brand, that name. People have paid to him. He has enjoyed it and he's getting cool money from this business. But this business is criminal. And I can say this, I can repeat it again that he's a criminal. And that's why we place him under surveillance too. We still have many that we have not picked. We are still watching them because I, I can say for now we have like almost notified or identified almost 12 uh, admin who are strong members of this syndicate. So it is not just an individual. And you say, do you know this lover? It's not that this lover that you see an individual. It's a syndicate. Find a have a coordinator, and we are still working on that. Do you have any link with this lover? No, I do business on, okay. on Instagram. So this lover too does business on Instagram. So this lover has a lot of vendors and fights against scam. So any, I use this lover as a criteria to prevent uh, doing business. You you use this lover? How do you use this lover? Because when I see a vendor and the vendor or anybody that is following this lover want to patronize me. I have this uh, clarity that it's not going to scam me or scam my followers. So that is how I came into this level. Then they said, So what do you do? What do you do online? Job do you I, do online? I, I help people fix their sponsored ads. Mm -hmm. I fix their sponsored ads which should then help online stores that are not used uh, that are not used to navigation on the Instagram. I also help people grow their Instagram page. Have you ever Share any contents? Yes, for example, you share you share you, you share content on your on your platforms. Yes, on my personal page. I share those those pages. somebody else's no, content or post? my personal content. You have not shared anybody. No. Somebody. No, no, no. You have not shared it. No, my personal or any file. I've not shared any defamatory or celebrity or even the said complaint. I've never shared anything concerning. Them. Well, you help you you help you help to. Call um, followers anytime this platform. Yes, because we have a lot. Of shut down. When the page gets down, we have a lot of fake, and those fake they still scam people. And due to the nature of my business, I I have to like tell them this is not this is the real one. This is a fake one. So on our way to me that the force is trying to get down the the, the page. Mm -hmm. That is the real chisel. So I have a quick question for you. This why. Right. So, in, in, in your business dealing, do you have direct access to Gislova, wherever Gislova is? No. Okay. And it's so, just online. Okay. So, in, in your in your business dealing, have you ever given out any information that led to the defrauding of somebody else? No. 
I just, what I do is in my business, or if I want to do any business with someone, I can ask, is this person real? Because he has a lot of business.